Amsterdam, the city of bridges and canals among many beautiful sceneries to feed your eyes on. In July 23rd to 27th, this beautiful city hosted one of the largest health conferences, the International AIDS Conference, whose theme was Breaking Barriers, Building Bridges. It's at this conference that I met 22-year-old Brian who was born with HIV and AIDS. He had been taking ARVs for 14 years without knowing why nor his status. The main reason why I'm here in this conference is that it's like, uh, let me just say it's like an opportunity for me. Uh, because I was born from with you uh, something two years ago, so that means I'm two, two years old right now. Uh, all this, uh, it was about uh, 14 years, I used to take drugs without knowing the status or like that and that. Then I was disclosed and I said no, it was really painful being discovered by everyone. I said no, let me just do this for the help of the community, for the help of the youth, so that they can not pass through what I impressed, what, what I went through. Being on antiretroviral therapy for 17 years now, Brian's status was disclosed in 2015 after he demanded to know why he was the only one in the family taking drugs. I was in medication since I was in about seven years, but I didn't know I was taking medication until when I stepped into the university about three years ago, three years ago, three years ago. In, on 2015, yeah, three years ago, exactly. So that's when I went to the, I went uh, with my dad to the hospital and I really forced him and my doctor to tell me why I'm taking the drugs. So it was like, what, what is this for? Uh, I was taking the ARVs, I didn't know about, I just laughed and they said no. I can't allow myself to pass through what, I, what I'm going through. And during that time, it was like, I don't know. I don't know, I didn't know anything about it. I used to believe in me that people you know, as it will be, you die, <laughs> like they have no future and society. I was like, what? I'm also a victim of it. <laughs> then my dad, uh, who, who was there, didn't tell, didn't say anything. He was just quiet. I, I used to wonder why, but the doctor explained everything to me. I tell the doctor, stop taking me for granted. You can't. You can't disclose to me right now, and, and yet I, well, I have been a drug. You guys used to, used to tell me that it's just for, just for eliminating the rashes in my body. Devastated by the news, Brian decided to learn as much as he could about HIV and AIDS, and in the process, got inspired to create HIV Fact Sheet. I created this app with the help of uh, Ampat, which is also my hospital where I take my drugs. Yeah? Uh, about three years ago, with the help of Salim Bakari, who, who was there for the content part of the app. Yeah, he's also a peer counselor and a peer navigator at the organization in Ampat. So I created with the main purpose of uh, of showing off the community, of showing off the society that at least they can be aware, yeah, to eradicate the myths and also to eradicate all the all the rumors that goes around about HIV. Yeah, and to show the community that even the HIV positive can do better. Also, to uh, also for the prevention measures for both the negative and the positive, because we are all, uh, let's say, we are all affected in the society. We are all affected or infected. The information is all about it. The factual information about it is here, and uh, also about reproductive health. Yeah. I also took consideration of the young people, of the young people and women said, they said, no, let's, have, let's let the society or the community know all about the productive health, a little about productive health, all about pregnancy, sexual assault, consent, yeah. And all of this, con all of this content that's in the app is being reviewed by Salim Bakari and also by the help of Dr. Pondi and the research in general at the department in Ampat. Brian and his partner launched the app in 2017 during World AIDS Day in Eldoret, Kenya. Apart from information, it's also, for example, you can find an online counselor there, yeah, he's from Ampat yeah, in Eldoret, and also uh, referral, clinical referral, all the hospitals, that, for example, if you have some burning questions, 
the councillor can refer to you to the nearest hospital around you. Yeah. The councillor is legalized for the Ampas, yeah, it's a professional one. So he can't give out the the let me say the rumors information around yeah, give out the factors. So young people can now, for example, being open can they can help. For example, personally, uh, when I have a burning question, I can't just approach any cat like any other and say, hey, I need some condom, I need some this, I have sex, I had sex, sex yesterday, I don't know if I've been contacted or not with that. No. Yeah, you can just, for example, uh, to relieve those, uh, let me just say, let me just put like this. The counselor, uh, for example, if you, if, you, if you tell the doctor or if you contact him directly there, you'll be able to get answers to your clinical questions. The AIDS 2018 being his first big conference, Brian got a chance to talk about HIV fact sheet as well as share his status and experience with young people. The main reason to attend the conference is I want to share more about, I don't want to share about what I did personally out of the inner being of mine, the society through the, my application and also to enable my messages to be aware across the world of the continent. So apart from launching the app here, yeah, for example, talking about the app, I'll also be sharing my story here, yeah, yeah, about how I've been since birth and uh, I believe through that I'll be able to uh, inspire young people during the conference, yeah, and also it will be able to uh, show the world that stigma is no longer violent, no longer a friend of mine anymore, yeah. And this also showed the, showed the Kenyans that we should not discriminate the community because we live the same, we are just on the same land, yeah. We're just the same guys, as I said, that we are all affected or infected in society. So there's no need to discriminate the positive one. Impressed by the number of young people at the Global Village, he says this is the best space where young people can interact and openly learn about HIV and AIDS without fear of being judged. So far, over 2,000 people have downloaded HIV fact sheet. Winnie Lubembe, The Health Channel in Nairobi.